Hey Fratcom, Freddy Frags back with a new review. Today's review is on Salvatore Faragamo's um, White Mimosa from the Tuscan Scent line. Uh, here's the presentation. Uh, leather or faux leather uh, casing around the box. Looks very nice, elegant with the black and gold. Follows, uh, the. it's similar to the way they do the 50 mil bottles of the Tom Ford Tuscan Leather um, Private Blends like Tuscan leather and, and uh, tobacco vanille. Um, very nice plastic cap, but it does have wood grains uh, and gold. Gives it a wood and gold vibe, but it's all plastic. But it's, I still think it's done pretty good. Um, black bottle, I think the black and gold makes it look elegant. Uh, also, the black bottle helps protect the juice. It is EDP concentration. Um, White Mimosa was released back in 2014 and is considered a floral, oriental floral fragrance. Um, the top notes are ambrette, mandarin orange. Uh, the mid notes are helotrope, white florals, and white mimosa. And the bottom notes are basically vanilla and iris. Uh, the price range for this retail, you can probably find it in Saks or anywhere this, or at the boutique for about 250 plus tax. But if you look around online, um, I found it for about 130 bucks, 135 bucks shipped. Um, I think it's a good value at that. Uh, I don't know if I'll pay full retail, but at the prices that we can find find it online, I definitely think it's price worthy. Um, this opens up as a with a floral, powdery floral vibe, with a little bit of citrus in the background. It is a clean type of scent. Almost like a, I guess like a floral powdery, like a, something a woman would wear. Um, uh, it has a slight creamy sweetness to it. Um, I think that's from the um, mimosa and from the helotrope combined. Um, but for the most part, in the beginning, it is basically a floral powdery scent that has slight hints of citrus and sweetness. Um, after about 45 minutes, the, the citrus goes away. I don't really get any much more of that in the background, even though it was fairly light to begin with. Um, then about after the, you start getting to the heart of it, about two hours in, you start to get more of the sweetness. Uh, and, and the sweetness starts to, I want to say dominate it, but it, w it, it balances it out. Uh, it starts out more feminine, in my opinion, uh, but eventually it does become a true unisex fragrance. Um, it's a very well done fragrance in my opinion. Uh, performance is is very, very good. Um, I'm going to say it lasts 12 hours plus. Um, the few times that I've worn it, I've taken baths by the 12 hour mark. So I can't confirm anything after that. But I can easily see this going 18 to 24 hours. Um, it projects nicely. Um, for the first four hours, uh, then moderate for the next four hours, and then becomes a skin scent after that. But although it's a skin scent, I still get whiffs of it when I turn uh, till I, you know, till I washed it off. Um, I've worn this about four times and only received one compliment. Um, and with that being said. It was a good compliment, and well, obviously compliments are good. <laughs> but um, I did ask my wife and kid, you know, daughters, uh, what they thought of it, and they all said that they enjoyed the fragrance. They liked it a lot, that they wouldn't mind wearing it. Um, and it was kind of torn, be fifty fifty between should I wear it or should they wear it. Um, but either way, they enjoyed it, and it did smell more feminine on them than it did on me. So, you know. It goes to show it is a true unisex fragrance, but, you know, um, if some women like a scent, a man to wear a scent that smells like a man, you know, more woodsy and, and citrus woodsy type scents, uh, and they prefer to leave the florals towards them. And some men, for the same thing, they want to smell like a man, so, so they won't wear anything that even borderlines being feminine. Um, but the metrosexual guys or the guys that have confidence in us, or even enjoy florals, can easily pull this off, I think. Um, I enjoyed wearing it. 
I don't see why I I would never hesitate to wear this. Like in the beginning, I think it leans more floral, so I would probably spray it on an hour or two before I leave to go anywhere and let it, you know, start working its way to being the unisex scent that I know it, it goes down, it comes down to. Um, but yeah, besides the opening being a little bit over feminine, I think it is a unisex fragrance and would recommend this to most guys that don't mind that. Um, this is an elegant, sophisticated, well-blended fragrance. Uh, I think it's made of high quality. Um, I can see this being a signature scent. Uh, for all year round, for both males and female uh, people that want to wear this, um, especially for work, that type of atmosphere, in my honest opinion, that works very well because it's noticeable, but you're not dominating a room. You're not. It's not overwhelming. Uh, I think unless somebody doesn't like the like pottery sense or doesn't like uh, florals, uh, and they come close to you. That's the only time it may bother them, but for the most part, you're not going to bother anybody with this. But you're still going to smell good, and people around you will enjoy it while you know when they're in the distance that it should that they'll smell you. Um, and although I see that as a um, all year round, I can see it being as an all year round um, signature scent. I also see this being elegant, like I said. And I see a lot of people would want to wear this uh, going out um, or dressed up. It fits that mark to the T. And I think that's what it was made for. But with that all being said, me personally, I probably would wear this more casually because of that floral vibe. Um, when I'm dressed up in a suit, I necessarily may not want to dress. Maybe if I'm dressed up in a suit uh, on a day brunch and need to wear like a jacket and you know tie or something to that effect something that has flowers on it i may uh pull that out and wear it but for the most part i i personally will wear this uh maybe some jeans and sandals or like some white sneakers a white tee you know very casual not to be around the house it's too nice for that but if i'm going out same reasons uh brunch lunch um, just going out, but nothing that's dressed up. I would still wear this because I think I think it, it's that versatile. But for my preferences, it would be more casual. But I could see most people wanting to wear this as a more upscale scent, which it would it deserves in my opinion. Um, and although I think it's an all year fragrance, um, I probably will be wearing this in the spring and summer, and most likely more in the spring than even the summer. Um, again, but that's me. It's a spring casual fragrance in my, for my taste and my style. But again, many people will differ and go with the more elegant all year fragrance. Um, I rate this a seven and a half to two eight, depending on the day out of 10. Um, it's a very, like I said, everything was very done. I have no complaints about this. Um, it's just personal preference. Um, I like florals. I like uh, fragrances that lean towards the feminine side. Um, but if I rated this against some of those, uh, it wouldn't be a 10 or a 9. So that's why I would go with about an 8. Um, but because it starts off more feminine and it, I need to wear it a little bit in order for me to... I not feel comfortable, but for in order, I need to wear it for an hour or two before I feel like I don't smell like a woman. Um, I would say... That's why I got a seven and a half, but most likely, most of the time, it'll be an eight for me. Um, I want to thank Chad, uh, Gentleman's Journey, Everyday Man, whatever his name is nowadays. Um, he's the one that put me on to, to, to the uh, Farragamo sense, especially this line. Um, yeah, and I'm, I'm thankful. I have a bottle. I enjoy it. Thanks, bud. Um, but that was my take on the Tuscan scent white mimosa from uh, Salvatore Faragamo's line. Um, please take a moment to rate, comment, subscribe, share the video. It's always appreciated. Till next time, Fragcom, please and stay blessed. Later.